Okay. Ooh. Oh, hey there. Hey there. Uh, today, I'm using a little bit of a trickle charger to juice me up because we're going to be talking about Instagram Reels and magic. So let's just get right into the video. You know, when my mom was younger, she used to call Stone Cold Steve Austin, Cold Stone Steve Austin, and I would correct her each and every single time, and she would never get it right. She would always say, oh, is that Cold Stone Steve Austin? Yeah. I hope he fights uh, Undertaker. I just thought I'd share that. I know what you're asking yourself. What? What is an Instagram reel? I'm an adult with a job. I have no time to know what these youthful things are, like Instagram Reels. Well, let me take you on a little bit of a history course here. TikTok is a social media application that involves doing little recorded videos with creative filters and having people scroll through a feed of them. They obviously have a large population of people that are interested. However, because of some nefarious dealings with the Chinese government, TikTok has been in hot water as of late. You could almost say that the clock is ticking on TikTok, but because of this, you have other social media platforms like Instagram coming up. And with that, Instagram.com has instilled a little bit of a thing called Reels. Reels is just a fancy way of saying, oh, you can now edit videos that you upload. So it lets you edit the videos on the application itself and lets you add little filters to make it funny. Now, obviously, because of this, magicians have been going and using these for their own Instagram gain, and all of them are terrible. I'm here to say that each and every single reel that I've ever seen is terrible. There is not one reel that is remotely good. I know, I know, I'm a contrarian. People are gonna say, what? Come on, pig cake, they're just fun. It's good old fun. It's putting magic back in the mainstream. It's popular again. People are enjoying themselves, they're magicians. They're sharing their magic with people. No, it's not about that. It's about being gay. Yeah, I know, I know. Some of them involve very attractive women, but you could still have straight things be very gay. Now, because of that comment, I have to tick on a little section of my monetization status when I upload this video. And I have to say, oh, I, I'm claiming that this video is making fun of marginalized groups. But I guess that's the price I have to pay to reach you guys with the content that you guys so dearly crave. So because of this, I thought I'd dedicate an entire video where I rant about magic reels. I have some notes here. I already covered the Stone Cold Steve Austin. I already covered the TikTok. And uh, here's the thing. I'm going to play one here for you. And uh, I want you guys to just kind of get a grasp as to what's going on in this particular reel. Hopefully, I don't get hit by any sort of copyright strike. But here you go. Simple game, James. All you have to do is repeat that after me. You ready? Go. Got it? Go. <laughs> Dan, why? Always with eggs. I feel like there's some sort of weird connection with the eggs. It might be some uh, underlying sort of uh, matriarchal connection to the eggs as to why people like the eggs and, and they find humor in eggs. There's a lot of TikToks and Instagrams about eggs recently, but this one is a, it's a magic one. And as you saw him do, he did a little bit of a transfer, a little bit of a transfer, and uh, the friend fell for it. And it's hysterical. It's, it's tremendous. And uh, this gives a little bit of a credence to my argument here. They're typically very staged situations where you have someone that's distracted, maybe on their phone, maybe they're doing something else, and you have the clever magician magician in the background doing something like this maybe you know he's showing off a trickle charger in the background and going <laughs> and doing something in the background to indicate that he's about to use that particular object to the dismay of his potential partner in this case the dismay was an egg was an egg and of course everybody laughs and the comments to these videos are also the worst because you get to see the fact that some people don't think that they're staged they go whoa crazy i can't believe your friend fell for that and they're terrible they're terrible as you can see from the ones that i'm playing right now they're awful sometimes they make use of an attractive woman to maybe catch her eye and uh, have you stick around but they're all awful and they all involve some sort of weird julius dean style of magic where the person is doing the camera doing the trick for the camera rather sorry they make me so 
retarded that sometimes I jumble words around, but they're doing a trick for the camera with the people behind them who could see the trick. They could see what's going on in the trick. They could see the method and they're still reacting. They're doing the trick for the camera. The audience is supposed to be there so you can live vicariously through them. You see their reaction and therefore you react in the same way because you're seeing their reactions. It's a whole meta metamucil community here. It's a metaphysical connection that you have to this audience. And the magician is really performing for you, the viewer of the Instagram reel. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to be the one to say, I don't care. I really don't. You might say that. You might make that argument. I don't care. It still looks terrible. See, I already wrote that here. It says audience is the viewer and then followed by fuck you, which is what I did in that uh, very long winded conversational diatribe. But uh, I've started an initiative on Instagram. If you follow me on pigcake 69 on my highlights, if you look at my profile, I've started an initiative called Magic Cop where I'm going to go. And every time I notice a, a reel or some sort of uh, Instagram video that is of the kind that I've spoken about you today, terrible, cringy, gay, awful, not humorous, not remotely doing anything to improve magic as an art, I'm going to tag it and say Magic Cop uh, misdemeanor, you know, Fine, $500. Uh, see you in court in 30 days. If you don't pay the ticket by the 30 day a lot of time, then it's gonna double. So I'm doing that on Instagram. You might wanna check it out. I've have a couple there, which are pretty terrible. I've probably shown a couple here while I've been rambling, but uh, you should check that out. It's a funny thing. And if you have any that you want to uh, send me, please don't, please refrain from sending me any because honestly, I'm up to here. I'm up to here with these. They're they're quite terrible. Look at this one. He's showing a fake egg. Shush. Hey, buddy. Why don't you do this with this egg? Switch. I'm going to put this egg and squeeze it. Oh, there's yolk everywhere. <laughs> wow. What? What? <laughs> God, do you squeeze the egg? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. I think I'm ready. I think I'm charged here. Uh, this was kind of a dumb gag and I ruined my wife beater. That's okay. I buy them in uh, packs of four. So I still have a couple to go through here. Uh, but that's the video. Please leave what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys have a difference of opinion, I welcome those. Uh, you're probably wrong. And it just so happens that comments trink the algorithm into thinking that my channel is more substantial than it actually is. So why don't you uh, go ahead and leave a comment? <laughs> leave a comment down below. Oh boy, so that's the video. Uh, if you guys want to see stuff like this, make sure to subscribe. I have a podcast. Check it out. Ham Radio. The link is going to be in the description below. I had an entire episode where I talked about magic reels on Instagram, so you should check that out. It's uh, quite fun. Quite fun. Uh, but apart from that, make sure to always check your battery for the appropriate gauge. I don't really know much about cars, but... I'm assuming that's a thing. Cars have gauges. Uh, let me check my notes and see if I left anything out. Uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram equals AIDS, Cold Stone Steve Austin, Magic Cop Initiative, and uh, I did that little crazy laugh bit. There you go. Hmm. We're still doing a whip. How about the nay nay? People still doing a whip and the nay nay.